Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of my Swiss River Guide. Today we are looking at a small channel which flows between the valley of the Rhine and the Wallensee. It's the Seitz. It flows out from the valley of Weistonnen and enters the wider valley floor at Mels. Here it turns westwards away from the Rhine and flows towards the Wallensee. The Seitz has not enough water most of the year. Therefore, you have to count on heavy rainfall or snow melting. We never had enough water to put in further up than Flums. The exit is at the Lake Valensee. The Seitz should have at least a flow of 3 cubic meter per second at the measuring point in Mels. This time is actually my first time it is not raining. There is an upper put in at Mills. However, a large portion until Flums is artificially embanked. Where we started is upriver from Flums, where the creek has been given a bit more room in its formerly embanked bed. There are a few eddies and a slow flowing speed. This makes it a good candidate for beginners as one of their first experience on flowing water. Between Mels and Flums there are countless waterfalls from the valley sides that bring up the water level until Flums. The 3 cubic meters per second in Mels have now become 5. When passing the grain mill you enter Flums. The right hand side is mostly industry with Flum Rock the most prominent, producing housing insulation. From here you also get a nice view on the seven Kurfürsten. From right to left these are Keserok, Hinterok, Siebenenstoll, Zurstoll, Brisi, Frümsel and Selun. Through the village the embankments are more prominent again. However, there are still a few eddies for practice. As we always made this trip toward the evening, it is only one to two hours, there are always some spectators at the shore. The sewage plant on the left mark the end of the village. Up on the hill on the left a large ruin can be seen from the back. Here the Schillis flows in from the left. During rainy weather its water is a reddish color. When looking back you can spot a chapel on the rock at the Aru Valley side. This is Berges, the oldest Romanesque chapel in the area. It is said to have spiritual powers. The valley opens up with meadows on both sides. You just entered the training ground of the Swiss army. Some days they have target practice over the seats, so you should inform yourself beforehand if paddling is possible on a week. Toward the horizon you can spot the high bridge of the highway between Kur and Zurich. From there it is not far to the lake. On the last meters the Seitz does show off again so with some eddies and waves that can be used if you got the right material. Once out on the lake you are paddling more or less into the sunset. You have to turn right towards the harbor of Wallenstadt where you have put the car. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!